Hello friends, welcome to another week of Virtual Children's Chapel. The other day we celebrated the first Sunday of Easter, Jesus' rising from the dead. We can say Alleluia again. And now our altar hanging will be white for the entire season of Easter. Easter is about 50 days or seven Sundays. The week leading up to Easter is called Holy Week. And that is what we remembered last week. Last week was Holy Week. But this week, I would like to tell you the story of Holy Week, starting with Palm Sunday. Almighty God, you love us so much that you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to become a human and to suffer death upon the cross. We pray that we will have the courage to walk with Jesus to the cross and share in the joy of his rising to life again. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Palm Sunday is the day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. People were celebrating and waving palms. They were so excited that Jesus had come back to Jerusalem after being away for so long. At St. Mary's, Palm Sunday is the day we walk around the church, waving palms and singing, All glory, laud, and honor. This represents or is a symbol of Jesus entering the city of Jerusalem. On Palm Sunday, our altar hanging is red. This year, the gospel we read from is from St. Matthew. Remember, the four gospels tell us the story of Jesus' life and ministry. Almighty Father, we pray that we will remember the power of the bread and wine Jesus gave to his disciples the night before he died. We ask that you will give us the strength to remember this act of love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On Monday, Thursday, we hear Jesus' story continue in the Gospel of St. John. On Monday, Thursday, we remember the story of the Last Supper. Remember, this is one of the moments we remember when we take the bread and wine or communion every Sunday. This is also the day that Jesus washed the feet of his 12 disciples, followers, or friends, and the day that Judas, one of Jesus' 12 disciples, turned against him. The most important part of Monday Thursday, however, is when Jesus tells us, tells his disciples to love each other just as he has loved them. This is the most important of all the commandments or rules that we as Christians should follow and live by. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners, and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I have often wondered why we call Good Friday good when it's the day we remember the death of Jesus on the cross. Remember, Jesus died on the cross to save us so that we will have the chance to live in the kingdom of God forever. Maybe this is why we call Good Friday good. Our scripture once again comes from the Gospel of St. John. Remember, on Good Friday, Jesus is given a hard wooden cross to carry up a hill. This hill is sometimes called Calvary, or Golgotha. This is where Jesus dies, and it is okay to feel sad on a day like this. Almighty God, we celebrate with joy the day of Jesus' resurrection. We pray that we may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Other than Christmas, Easter Sunday is the happiest day in our tradition, in our faith. The biggest celebration day. Our altar hanging changes to a new color during the season of Easter. It changes to the color of white. And this is the day that Jesus comes back to life. God raises him from the dead. 
This is when you get to say lots and lots of alleluias, our word for celebrate. On Easter Sunday, we also read from the Gospel of St. John. In this Gospel, Mary goes to visit the place where they laid Jesus after he died. She goes there and finds that his body isn't there, and she is very sad. Mary sees a man, who she thinks is the gardener, and asks him, Where is Jesus? He says her name, and she knows that it is Jesus who called her name. Mary then left and told all of Jesus' disciples, followers, or friends what she saw. Friends, let us end our time together by praying for all God's people, especially teachers, doctors, nurses, all people who work for our government, our family and friends, people who are sad, sick, alone, or scared. And finally, let us pray for our own needs. Thank you, friends, for walking this journey of Holy Week with me. I will see you all next week.